Hello students, today is session is to review recursive formulas. You will be able to do 7.1. Uh, today's students will be able to write the recursive formula of a sequence of terms. And so, this is the first term. It says 5, 9, 13, 17, 21, 25, 29. And so I want you to be able to write the recursive formula, you will need two things. The first thing is the initial point. The initial point is always the first term. So that's the initial point. And the second thing that you will need is the pattern to see what's happening. So to go from five to nine, what's happening to go from 9 to 13 what's going on to go from 13 to 17 what's going on well it looks like we're adding four we're adding four we're adding four okay so this is the pattern and so for my recursive formula you will need two parts f of 1, which is giving me the initial point, and we already know that the initial point is 5. So basically, you're going to be given this, and you're going to be asked to write this, which is called recursive formula. Okay, and later on you will figure out why we need to know this. It's like when, you're, when you have a rectangle and you find area equals base times height. It's a formula that you can use over and over and over. So f of one is five, and then you're gonna put f of n equals f of n minus one, and you include the pattern in here. So with this formula, um, in the next lesson, you will be able to find the next term, the next term, the next term, the next term, the next term. Okay, but uh, we'll get to that tomorrow. Okay, again, if they give me this sequence, I always put f of one equals, that's always part of my recursive formula, and I put the number, the first number. And then for the second part is f of n all the time equals f of n minus one all the time and this is what's going to be changing for different um, different sequences. You include the pattern in here. So let's look at another one. Okay, this one. So I'm going to start with 3, 6, 12, 24, 48. 96, 192. So again, uh, which formula would help me to figure out the, the next terms? Or if I didn't have any sequence but they gave me the formula, how can I find all of these ones? Well, again, we need the initial point. We look for the pattern. The pattern says, oh, some people say plus three. But then, oh, plus 3 is not 12, so something else is happening. Plus 3 is not 24. Oh, it looks like we're multiplying by 2. Times 2, times 2, times 2, times 2. So that's my pattern. My pattern is that we're multiplying by 2. And so my formula will be always f of 1 equals something. Always f of n equals f of n minus 1 and something else. Well, with my f of 1, I always have my initial point. With my f of n equals f of n minus 1, I always have my pattern, which is multiplied by 2, and that's my recursive formula. Now, I'm going to let you know also that when I'm multiplying by 2, this 
is exactly the same as if you have f of n equals 2 multiplied by f of n minus 1. Okay, these are the two different ways of writing the same thing. You just put times 2 in here or times 2 in here. Okay, even if it doesn't have the little dot, since it's a coefficient, it means multiplication. So f of 1 equals 3, f of n equals f of n minus 1 times 2, or this could replace this one, f of n equals twice f of n minus 1. Okay, that's all you're doing right now. Just writing the recursive formula if you're given a list of numbers. Okay, let's do one more. So what's my initial point in here? And what's happening for my pattern? So well, my initial point is 11, and it looks like I'm taking away 3, minus 3, minus 3, minus 3, minus 3. So my function, again, my recursive formula will always be f of 1 equals the initial point and f of n equals f of n minus 1 and the pattern which is subtract 3 okay so that's my recursive formula and this was short and easy this will get you ready for 7.1 so have fun. This is the recursive formula. Again, just f of 1 equals initial point, f of n equals f of n minus 1, with the pattern, in this case minus 3. Okay? Okay. That's the recursive formula.